What's good, Scorpio? This is Soul. And Scorpio, we're going to look at some energies for you starting August 1st and ending August 7th, 2022. The messages will be for Scorpio suns, moons, Scorpio rising signs, singles, couples, Scorpios who are into same-sex loving energy. Scorpio, this week I'm using the Star Scope. Starscape. I think I said scope in the last video, but it's the Starscape um, Tarot. Uh, I think I used this deck many, many years ago. And uh, yes, yeah, I'm sorry. I said Starscape. It's actually Shadowscape. Boy, did I fuck that up. Shadowscape's Tarot. Okay, they'll know what I'm talking about. I usually post the uh, deck that I'm reading uh, using in the description box. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I hope all is well. Also, in addition, um, all these cards are in the upright position for a fact. Uh, I'm trying something different here, Scorpio. So using the fourth edition Victorian Romantic Tarot deck, what I uh, did was I took all the cups out. We're talking about love and emotions. Tomorrow uh, marks the uh, full, uh, no, new moon in Leo. So the emphasis for some of you may be on relationships. So I've been saying that, you know, during the general reading here, um, if you don't receive any cups in the uh, reading, there, you know, definitely is going to be a cup here. If the five of cups, eight of cups shows up, you know, I always read those energies differently. So don't, you know, sweat the small stuff when it comes to that. But in addition to pulling all the cups out of that deck, the fourth edition, uh, you know, Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck, uh, Scorpio. I've added uh, the Lovers. I've added the the Sun. I've added the uh, High Priestess and the Chariot. Okay, so we got a lot of energy to work with. So it's just something new that I'm trying to add to see how it comes over. Okay, other than that, let's begin with your reading here. So energies for Scorpio, um, Suns, Moons. Scorpio rising sign. Messages for Scorpio. Alright, so uh, Scorpio, we're going to begin and open up the energy for you with the Queen of Cups. So here your own energy is representing. This is the mother of all love. She's nurturing, she's caring, she's supportive, she's intuitive. Scorpio, pay attention to your intuition. You know, I always tell you guys that, you know, those gut feelings and those voices that you may hear are your own spirit guides that are trying to grab your attention to... Um, you know, make the right choices and decisions for you moving forward. This Queen of Cups, the roles could be reversed. This could be male. Could just represent your family, uh, well, your parents and your grandparents, actually. But it could, you know, represent your family. But because it's the first card that opens us up, I feel that there is for some of you, um, when it comes to the emotional level of exchange of energy for you, um, in all relationships is going to be. Um, yeah, one to remember, okay, because the focus is going to be on relationships for quite a few of you. And because we have this powerful Queen of Cups showing up here, um, I do believe that some of you will experience a great emotional week. All right, so the uh, Queen of Cups here represents you, uh, Cancer and Scorpio. Your shadow energy uh, is the Ten of Swords. And actually, I like the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is a completion of energy. It's in alignment with the, uh, the new moon, Leo, right? So a phase or a cycle is ending that may have been stressful for you, Scorpio. And now a new cycle of energy is about to open up. And usually it's positive. Now, with the Ten of Swords, I always get uh, surgical procedures, so someone could be, um, if it's not you, someone that you may know, having uh, inpatient, outpatient surgical procedures from anywhere from cosmetic to dental to actual, you know, um, you know, deeper medical, I mean, I'm I'm sorry, deeper surgical uh, operations like knees, uh, back, and so forth, whatever it is. And if, you know, if it's not you, it's going to be painful, but hopefully they are medicated accordingly to handle the pain. And that too will be temporary. It's just a matter of having to um, coordinate and get things right. So, um, Ten of Swords here represents air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I thought I almost had a hit there, but I'll leave that alone. Following the Queen of Cups here for you, Scorpio, now we have the um, Eight of Wands. So there's a <laughs> good news is on its way. A surprise is on its way. Now, this here is about 
communications. This is the communicator card. Effective communicators because it's an even number of wands. The energy that you communicate to others, look, it follows the Queen of Cups. The energy that you put out there to others is what you're going to receive back. Okay, there's nothing misunderstood or misconstrued, no miscommunication whenever the Eight of Wands shows up. Also, if you have been online, you know, ordering stuff or waiting for some sort of important mail to come, it's coming this week. Uh, Eight of Wands represents um, fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius because it follows the, um, you know, the Queen of Cups, your own energy. Some of you are in relationships uh, or have some sort of connections with fire sign. Following the Eight of Wands now, we have the Ace of Wands. So now there's a double aspect of good news coming in for you and uh, more of a surprise because I always talk about the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Uh, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, always at news. Something comes in very, very quickly. It's always something very positive. This is a card of passion. This is a card of starting um, some sort of uh, creative pursuits, um, you know, singing, dancing, writing, whatever it is that you are passionate about. Uh, it, you could be, you know, uh, starting a new hobby, anything. Anything. The Ace of Wands here. Being inspired to do something, to start something. And it mirrors the relationship card. So that could be family connections. It could be you're passionate about your romantic connection, platonic friendships. Ace of Wands represents, you know, of course, fire, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Following that, now we have the Two of Pentacles, so juggling two things, two jobs, possibly. Still could be a small pay raise coming in. Two people could be interested in uh, you, Scorpio. You uh, may be interested in two people. Just balancing your checkbook can be the most simplest thing that comes out of the Two of Pentacles. It's just minor energies. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represents that Two of Pentacles. And we have up the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Nine of Swords is here for you. And uh, because it mirrors the um, your own energy, the relationship card. Okay, so here's an aspect of where uh, in spite of all the good stuff that's coming in here, uh, I still, you know, will get those hits and uh, keep in mind that, you know, the Ten of Swords is in your shadow. So it's a completion of any types of stressful situations that you may have been dealing with, whatever those energies are. So this Nine of Swords, you know, temp typical uh, definition is, you know, being lied to, being cheated on, having uh, to be uh, betrayed. It could be, um, you know, that you're overthinking about something or someone too much. You know, um, feeling a bit distraught. It's relationships. It's connected to the relationships. So what you want to do is have to bring to the surface to talk about those energies, whether it's, you know, external conflicts that you're dealing with, uh, Scorpio or internal conflicts. This card here, I always talk about is, is um, not just the Six of Pentacles where, you know, there's someone does, you know, did some sort of slight to you, then they apologize, sort of minor scale. But this here, too, is a card that comes through for me for having to ask for forgiveness, not only for yourself, but also for those who may have created or been a part of the conflict for you. You know, oftentimes I get depression with the uh, Nine of Swords, definitely high anxiety. Um, so some of you may be, you know, um, and I'm not diagnosing, some of you may be taking medication or f trying to find some sort of relief. It could be, um, you know, taking medication for anxiety, depression, it could be, you know, um, seeking other sources just to relieve that nine of swords tension or that energy away from you so it could be smoking pot it could be drinking some sort of distraction to take away that thought process of the nine of swords energy and, and some of you even though we don't have the you know like the devil here it could still be that uh, not only overthinking but some of you could be just working diving into your work too much and then letting the conflicts just swirl around 
you know, uh, hoping that they resolve on their own. Well, they won't. You have to do something about that. Nine of Swords here represents Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, following that is the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a card of passion, sexual energy. She's always focused on something or someone underneath the other relationship card. Remember I said that the kings and the queens, no matter what element shows up, always represents relationships, ages, and genders. Um, so this is a card of attraction. Okay, you're either attracting something or someone into your life. Um, Scorpio, of course, it could, you know, again, represent your parents, mothers, and, you know, uh, well, your parents and grandparents. I talk about the females and, you know, hot flashes. This card could be intense in a positive way. Definitely the passion in a positive way is there expression of self we have the communicator card the eight of wands we also have the ace of wands so there's a lot of fiery passionate energy here that some of you are going to experience uh this week and if that's the case it's a good thing right so the queen of wands here represents fire aries leo and sagittarius up next the six of pentacles hell i just talked about the six of pentacles if there's an apology coming, it's coming your way. This is a card of generosity, so it could be expectations of gifts being received. Still could be some money coming in through the forms of pay raises, or somebody could be getting a job with higher pay. It's a balanced number of pentacles, so the even exchange is, um, you know, what you put out there, you're going to get back. If apology is forthcoming, you accept it. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo represents the Six of Pentacles. Up next now we have the Two of Cups. Invitation, new relationships. Platonic, romantic. Be invited out on first dates. Seeing eye to eye with one another. Being on the same page with one another. Sharing the same interest as one another. Now, of course, this could be your family. This could be, you know, um, definitely existing uh, relationships now with Scorpio, with others. Striking of a balance. Again, uh, even number of cups. So what you give, you get back. Representing you, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Up next now, we have the Four of Cups. Here we go. Socializing. Remember I said about the Victorian Romantic. If you didn't receive any cups, well, you're receiving some cups here. But then, you know, whatever I draw or select from this, this uh, deck here, maybe in addition, may become even more powerful in terms of the emotional aspect because what I wanted to do was focus on how your emotional week is going to be so far with this two of cups and the uh, four of cups um, you know it's looking pretty good but I don't want you to focus on the nine of swords nine of swords three of swords tower I always tell you guys it shows up for a reason for someone who comes along and sees this video they'll know exactly why that nine of swords is here Okay, these are just general messages that I'm interpreting in terms of the cards that I'm using. I don't know everybody out there. Only you know your situation. Do I expect them to comment and, and you know, tell me that I'm absolutely right? Of course not. No. Anyway, Four of Cups is socializing, so putting your energy out there. This could be double dating. This is just spending quality time with your significant others, your family members, your friends, even number of cups like the Two of Cups. So again, the energy that you put out there, you're going to get back. This Four of Cups here represents you, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Last card is your own energy, the Death card. Okay? Death card is showing up, and the Death card is always about what? Releasing and letting go. Endings. Only you know what needs to be ended and let go. Underneath the Nine of Swords, that might be an indicator for some of you. And which course or action that you need to take in terms of some sort of closure. Now, it could be quitting, a, you know, ending a job that you don't like. Let's keep it real. But also, too, it could be, you know, um, coming to terms or, you know, agreeing to that 
a relationship that you may be in is not working out for you for your highest good. That may have, you know, may have to come to a close. The other uh, thing, it could be just getting rid of material things, clearing up some sort of space around you. But whatever this death card here means for you, it is here. Um, but it also two promises because it is a major arcana. It always promises new stuff coming in. Rebirth. All right, so that's what I have for you, Scorpio. And uh, let's see what the additional emotional card um, comes through for you. So yeah, as I opened up the uh, energies with the Queen of Cups, I said that there's an expectation of emotional uh, exchange of energy for you. But I still felt that um, it was in a good way. I still feel that it's in a good way. And then you get the moon. Okay? You got the moon like um, Libra received the moon. Tomorrow marks Leo new moon. So this is the revelations here. This is things being uh, revealed. Um, oftentimes, you know, I don't, you know, this is why I don't pay attention to other readers and whatnot, because for me, the moon is about revelations. So sometimes, you know, you'll hear readers saying things being hidden. Well, it is what it is, but that could be the case. But for me, it's about something that's being revealed. Uh, that's no longer hidden. So there could be an aspect of someone going deeper in terms of their emotions for you or towards you, uh, Scorpio. Now, in all fairness, it could be that you're going deeper in terms of your emotion towards someone. But, you know, you could be falling in love. You could, you know, tell somebody that, you know, um, that not only that you're in love with them or that you're falling in love with them. This is, you know, people who have held on to some sort of crush or liking type of energy, but now they're ready to open up. The emotions of the moon could fluctuate. However, they could send us up too high. We don't want to be up too high emotionally, but we don't want to be down too low. So we always want to strike a balance. Pay attention to your intuition again, just like the Queen of Cups. Uh, when it comes to these situations, deal with the situations as they are being presented to you, not how you uh, want them to be in terms of any expected outcomes or, um, you know, endings that you may have put to a situation. A person shows you who they are when it comes to the moon. Oftentimes, the moon and the seven of cups, they're genuine feelings. When it comes to the devil, that can be a conflict and could be a masquerade of feelings. Likewise, you know, likewise with the magician, if a person is showing you who they are, you better believe them, especially with the magician. But the moon here is part of your energies, uh, specifically Pisces, as well as cancer. So, yes, secrets, a cycle completing. Um, Ten of swords was in your shadow. So that's also a cycle completing in alignment with the full moon. I'm, I keep saying full moon, the new moon. And the new moon, for some reason, I didn't really dig into it to see what all the uh, energies are related to that. But I did see, you know, the new moon, um, you know, fires up that passion when it comes to relationships. So relationships for some of you are going to be on the forefront. And here with the potential energy that I've just laid out for you has an opportunity for you to, you know, to correct some of that energy. If it's not something that's uh, correct for you right now, nine of swords, that's causing some sort of uh, conflict. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Beautiful energies, I swear it is. Um, whatever you do, do it well, do it safely. Um, this is just potential energy and me interpreting you know, the messages. If they're useful, then use it. If not, don't worry about it. Um, if you can, please give this uh, video a thumbs up, like, share if you have to. I appreciate you for doing so. And um, just keep smiling, Scorpio. Keep smiling. Stay positive. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.